Could you give him the chair, please? C'est quelqu'un. Hélène, Hélène, une, une, une chaise pour euh, Ronan. Non, bah prendre. Ah non. OK. Could we... Mr. Sefcovic, is, it com is he coming? Non, non. Uh, could you... Oh, oh, sorry, just, just a few... OK, uh, I'm sorry, but Jean-Zacquier Anna to go. I speak in English if you prefer. Or if, oh non, j'avais parlé en français. Je suis désolé, je peux le faire les deux, uh, in French and in English. En français, Jean-Jacques Kéran était obligé de partir avec le président de la République, car vu les événements en France, le président de la République a souhaité, avant de partir en Afrique, rencontrer les forces de l'ordre, les forces de sécurité. Donc il a une réunion à cet instant à Saint-Exupéry. I'm sorry, but uh, Jean-Jacques Kéran has to go with uh, François Hollande because of the, uh, uh, the, uh, the incident in France last week. We, they have a, a meeting with the security forces, uh, with the, uh, all the people in Saint-Exupéry before I leave to Africa. So I, I'm in charge to uh, be with you to, today. Vous avez entendu les principales présentations du MOU par nos collègues Rodriguez et Kleschmann. Nous allons les signer, mais avant cela, et j'invite tous ceux qui le souhaitent après à poser des questions, j'invite ceux qui le souhaitent à la table, éventuellement, de rajouter quelques mots. Uh, I invite all the people around the table if you want to, uh, uh, to make some more comments. Or maybe we, just like you want. Mr. Kreshman, you want to make some other comments? Okay, let's go. Ja, ich freue mich sehr darüber, dass sich nach der Erstunterzeichnung in Kalifornien mit Governor Jerry Brown jetzt weitere internationale Unterstützer aus den Regionen der Welt dazugekommen sind. Und ich denke, dass dieses Memorandum of Understanding der Klimaschutzkonferenz in Paris uh, gute Impulse geben wird. Mr. President, it's an interpretation, yeah. but we have no okay. Okay, I'm delighted to uh, be here and to see that uh, there are other regions that are going to sign this memorandum of understanding after the first uh, signature round that has taken place in California and uh, w with uh, the Governor Brown. And I'm also delighted to see that we have to today international support from other regions in the world. Um, I would like to say that I do believe that this memorandum of understanding will give important impulse to the conference that will take place in Paris. Mit dem heutigen Tag gehören jetzt 17 Regionen dieser Klimafamilie an und neben unserem Gastgeber Ron Alp kommen wir jetzt weiter hinzu, das Baskenland, Schottland und Wales. With uh, today we will have 17 regions who will be that will be part of this climate family and um, together with our host Ronald we will also have um, uh, the Basque country uh, Scotland and Wales who will be part of this family. Mit Ron Alp verbindet uns eine fast 30-jährige Partnerschaft uh, zusammen in mit den uh, in der uh, in dem Bündnis vier Motoren für Europa dem uh, noch Katalonien und die Lombardei angehören und uh, in Bälde wird auch die Lombardei unterzeichnen dann haben alle vier Motoren uh, von Europa das Memorandum unterzeichnet We've had a long partnership with uh, Ronalp for almost 30 years we've been partners and um, within the four motors of Europe of which also Catalonia and Lombardia are part um, and Lombardia is going to sign this um, memorandum of understanding as well and will become part of this family. Ja, and these four motors uh, wollen nun auch uh, andere mitziehen aus Europa beim Klimaschutz und ich glaube, das ist einfach ein gutes Zeichen für den Klimagipfel in Paris, ein kraftvolles Zeichen 
Und wir freuen uns einfach, dass wir noch weitere Regionen gewinnen werden, um Druck zu machen auf den Klimagipfel in Paris. Und ich bin sehr glücklich darüber, dass wir schon so weit gekommen sind und dass der Beginn in Kalifornien jetzt so weite Früchte in aller Welt trägt. Herzlichen Dank. Um, these four motors of Europe want to uh, motivate other countries in Europe and um, in the world to take part in this climate protection. And I do believe that this is really a good, a powerful sign for the climate summit in Paris. And I am very happy that other regions help us to put pressure on this summit in Paris. And um, I've really, I'm really delighted to see that we've come so far and that we can see such a fruitful outcome of our work. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Danke schön. Je veux juste te dire que l'amitié des quatre moteurs est un pilier de notre coopération. Et c'est vrai que nous sommes aussi, nous, en tant que signataires, très heureux de rejoindre les quatre moteurs dans cette opération. If you can translate in German, no, someone? No. No, no OK, OK, no problem. No problem. No problem. It's just OK. Mr. Rodriguez from California. Well, thank you very much. And I will be brief. Um, Four years ago, when I started in California, one of the things I heard was, why is California working on climate issues by itself? Uh, California is only 1% of uh, the uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Should we be doing this and endangering our economy at the same time? Uh, the last four years have seen just tremendous growth in our understanding in California of what's going on in the rest of the world. It is very comforting to us to know that there are other uh, uh, regions and nations that are just as concerned about climate as uh, uh, we are in California. Uh, we're delighted to find uh, great partners in Baden-Württemberg, uh, in the other uh, signatories to the agreement, in, in the Basque country, um, in uh, uh, Lombardy, uh, in Scotland. Um, and uh, we are looking forward to um, signing this agreement and working with these other countries in Rhone Alps uh, to whom we're indebted for having today's conference. Um, and we feel like together we also have a message to, 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 to tell. And that is that you can work on these programs, you can uh, deal with climate change, and at the same time continue to have a strong economy. Um, in California, what we've been finding is that uh, our programs are actually helping the economy. Uh, we've got 65,000 jobs now in the uh, solar industry in California. Uh, we've attracted $5.7 billion in venture capital that is being invested in clean tech in California. Uh, the California economy is, uh, if we were our own country, the seventh largest economy in the world. And so you can do climate change programs, and you can be aggressive in those climate change programs, and you can do so while continuing to have a strong economy. But as I said at the beginning, you can't do that without good partners. Um, and that's why it's so important for us to, to be here with uh, the Basque Country, with Baden-Württemberg, with Rhone Alps, with Scotland, with our other partners. Um, because it's important for Catalonia, because it's important for us to continue to move ahead and work with our other partners. Um, and then next week, uh, we have another uh, climate conference that we'll be attending uh, in uh, Toronto, a climate conference of the Americas, where we'll be working with our partners in Ontario and our longstanding partner in uh, Quebec, with whom we have a cap and trade program. Uh, so I'm optimistic about the future. And I think we have a good story to tell, and we have to keep uh, uh, challenging uh, the United Nations and the UNFCCC to let us tell our story, because we, I think it's a good one, and it's a story about how we can collectively deal with climate change and address climate change. So thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Uh, je le dis en français et en anglais. Je viens de quitter le président de la République, qui était très impressionné de tous ceux qui étaient là et particulièrement du niveau d'engagement de ce MOU 
et il me disait qu'il souhaitait que nous soyons nombreux à rejoindre. I just left uh, François Hollande and he told me that it was very impressed by the fact that we were so many people and also by the level of our MOU and he, he asked everybody to join uh, as he said during his uh, speech. So I in, in, in his, on behalf of the president, I can very uh, great you to be here and to have this initiative, and he asked us to join uh, everybody. Who want, qui, qui veut uh, parler encore autour de la table, madame, madame McLeod? Quelques mots. Oh. Uh, well, thank you very much. As uh, Scotland's uh, climate change minister here on behalf of the Scottish Government, Scotland uh, strongly supports a high global ambition on climate change and we very much want to see an ambitious universal climate treaty agreed uh, in Paris in December and we will do all that we possibly can from our side to support that. Now, Scotland can demonstrate to the international community that it is possible to achieve high ambition and maintain sustainable economic growth. You know, we are in Scotland, we are three quarters of our way to our world leading target of a 42% emissions reduction uh, by 2020, uh, with a 38.4% uh, cut in 2013. We have a 58% target for 2027, and at least 80% by 2020. Now, Scotland does have an important role to play as, as climate change is fully devolved across all sectors of the Scottish economy uh, to the Scottish Government. And, you know, we also have uh, full responsibility for the implementation within Scotland of any in new international treaty. We are already members of the Compact of States and Regions, and we see that as being very much you know, an excellent platform to further demonstrate the collective action of subnational governments. And we are extremely excited to be joining uh, the under two MOU with other like-minded states and regional governments. And we do genuinely uh, believe that initiatives uh, like this will help us to be able to share best practice and experience of the challenges you know, and uh, the opportunities that are presented by the transition to a low carbon economy. And I think as my uh, Californian colleague said, you know, we do all have a very good story to tell and we are you know, very keen in Scotland to make sure that we maintain this momentum ahead of Paris and that we get that ambitious uh, treaty agreed in Paris in December. So thank you very much. And I'm saying I'm very much looking forward to being a signatory to this treaty this afternoon. Okay. Il y a des problèmes d'avion pour le président Kreschmann. Nous aimerions qu'il puisse signer. Donc je demande aux deux autres personnes juste une minute et après nous pourrons signer. Don't worry, you got the plane. I'm sure of that. Monsieur, le, ma, Madame, euh, qui, je crois qu'il y avait Madame euh, Terzi qui voulait nous dire un mot. Non, non. Euh, Peut-être on peut signer. Et puis après, s'il y a des questions, moi je reste avec vous tous, mais nous n'allons pas faire rater l'avion. Uh, just, uh, just a few. Huh? Okay. Vous voulez, on, on peut parler après signer. Oui, je pense que c'est plus raisonnable pour to, to our friend of Badur Timber. And we have the uh, vice president of the commission, which is who is arriving to, to be testimony. Okay, come on. <laughs> just the wedding ceremony. <laughs> So, we can proceed to sign for the people who are in charge to sign. Okay? We sign. Ali.
Just a, just a few words more from uh, the Vice President Sefcovic, we, and we, maybe we can ask the question after. Mr. Sefcovic. Thank you, very, thank you very much. I know that Mr. Kratchmer is leaving, but I just can say that uh, he was uh, he is the Prime Minister of uh, Baden-Württemberg, and uh, they have very good tradition of having the special government sessions uh, in Brussels once mm -hmm. upon a time. And uh, he is having such a uh, good tradition that he's always inviting the, the commissioner to discuss the issues which are uh, on top of the agenda. So I was very glad when I saw him today uh, in the podium together with Mr. Rodriguez from California, which uh, you wouldn't believe was actually the first Western country I ever visited after the collapse of Iron Curtain. So I was for one day in Austria in 1989, and then I was taken for a special study stay to California, so it was actually the first Western country I visited. It was very far to the west, uh, straight to the California. But uh, thank you very much for, for your kind invitation uh, to be here. I was just uh, running a little bit late because uh, I was just sitting with your partners with uh, the covenant of uh, mayors. And uh, now I'm here and I'm really very much uh, thrilled that uh, uh, also the subnational global leadership uh, initiative is uh, so popular that you have already have uh, so many signatures and uh, uh, that uh, you are ready to cooperate in uh, uh, this new way on these very important topics because uh, uh, I'm responsible for, uh, for energy union, which comprise the energy transition, decarbonization, reforms in transport, uh, better use of energy efficiency principles, uh, uh, using of these new modern technologies in this very important uh, economic uh, uh, transition. But I say one thing, and that's, I think, uh, uh, true, and I'm sure you will agree with me, that we cannot do this economic transition, we cannot build the uh, energy union in Brussels or from Brussels. We have to do it with you in, uh, in, uh, in the countries, in the cities, with our citizens, uh, with the concrete projects and with the con concrete initiatives. And, and uh, a lot of powers uh, is on a subnational level. Uh, very often the, the local authorities uh, are much, much closer to the citizens than the central governments, uh, uh, than uh, the, uh, in our case, uh, European institutions, and therefore it's our joint task, it's, uh, joint task it's, it's our uh, joint effort, and when the citizens see that it's not only something which is coming from the top level, but that these are the local representatives, that these are, these are the, the different levels uh, of, the, of the government which are so serious about the climate change and have such ambitious targets like you set uh, for yourself to reduce the greenhouse gas emission by 2050 by 80 to 90 percent. So they, they, they are interested, they want to know, they, they uh, see uh, the point uh, in uh, this effort and they know how their local communities and cities would benefit uh, from that. And therefore, I really would like to thank you very much uh, for this in initiative to, uh, to tell you that we very much uh, support it because we know that this is such a uh, huge task that we, that we need, uh, this collective and collaborative effort, and that we would be very happy if the European Commission in any way can be helpful, could be, could be uh, part uh, of your efforts, and that we are very much looking forward to uh, our future cooperation. So thank you very much for, for inviting me. Thank you very much for the nice picture I will have. And, <laughs> and thank you very much for the warm welcome you created in Lyon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Je crois que notre collègue du Pays Basque voulait dire quelques mots. Merci, merci beaucoup pour, pour votre mot aussi. Mais, et je voudrais féliciter la Californie et baden württemberg pour cette initiative qu'ils ont eue avec le, avec le mémorandum. Et, mais je crois que c'est très important de mettre en place aussi le rôle des régions. Ne, ne pas seulement le, le rôle des, des administrations locales, ou des maires, mais aussi les, les rôles des régions. C'est très important en quelques États, comme l'État espagnol, qui sont très décentralisés. Et ce sont nous, les régions, qui nous avons les compétences en, en, en environnement et aussi dans, dans l'aménagement des territoires et aussi dans le changement climatique. Alors c'est très important de, de, de tenir en compte que, que ce, ce, ce niveau est, existe aussi et nous sommes très fiers et, et on, nous, nous sommes en train de, de le montrer et en tous les, tous les moments, comme dans ces mémorandums et aussi avec les compacts, c'est en région que eh, la ministre de Scotia 
à dire aussi, je crois, à la Californie, nous sommes tous des États ou des régions, je crois que c'est la revendication de ces, ces niveaux aussi. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Euh, qui souhaite d'autres Je regarde. Oui, vous voulez dire un mot Allez-y. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. It's great to be a part of this uh, group of people uh, who have decided to come together to make the change. I'm uh, delighted on behalf of Wales, the Minister for uh, Natural Resources in Wales, to be part of this process. I think what we are doing, though, is converted to the people who are already converted in this room. Actually, the big challenge for us all is to now gain more membership of under two uh, at the MOU to make sure that we sell the message of the reasoning why. We all understand this internally, but there is a big challenge ahead of us to make sure collectively we can make the change. So I'm delighted to be part of the signatory here today, but uh, the work starts, I believe, now moving forward to gain more people to join with us to uh, take this to uh, Paris in December. Diochenval, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Donc, euh, Madame euh, la euh, représentante de la Lombardie et de notre collègue Maroni, avec lequel nous sommes aussi beaucoup, oui, beaucoup en coopération. Merci, merci. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be here today for this important meeting. Lombardia is a region with 10 million inhabitants, uh, the most industrialized in Italy and among the top ones in Europe. But uh, the geographical, orographical and meteoclimatic climatic characteristics uh, and the human activities in Lombardia and in the Po Valley make this land an area vulnerable to the climate change impact and to local events of atmospheric pollution. On the road to Paris, to Paris in an international event organized in the, frame, in the framework of Expo in Milan, next October the 26th, uh, Lombardia region will sign the MU, sub Subnational Global Climate Leadership. Lombardia region is committed to sign the Global Climate Leadership Memorandum of Understanding, sharing with you the general purpose and the specific aims contents in paragraph reducing greenhouse gas emissions and in paragraph adaptation and resilience. On the basis of the recent scientific outcomes of, of uh, the fifth assessment report, uh, efforts from all different levels of the governance, international, national, subnational, regional and local levels, are necessary to ensure protection of humankind and our planet, and to limit the increase in global average temperature. Also, through the signing of the MU, Lombardy region confirmed its commitment to reach the U European Union target by 2050, following the roadmap for moving to a low carbon economy. Our recent ambitious regional climate change adaptation, adaptation strategy of Lombardy region is already one of the good practices uh, in planning adap adaptation collected, collected by the European Commission through the publication titled Climate Change Adaptation Practice Across the, U the European Union. In terms uh, of climate change adaptation, Lombardia region drives the national initiatives since it uh, uh, is it the first and the only Italian region that since uh, uh, 2014 has an adaptation strategy to identify specific actions aimed to re at reducing the vulnerability of both natural and socio-economic system and at increasing their resilience to climate change impact. Local governments are key, key players in fight against climate change with adaptation plans and at, at regional and sub-national level. We wait for the important event of Paris COP2021 20, and thank you very much.